Howdy all, welcome back to Dad Tries to Play Project Zomboid. Let's get going. When we last left Cory for long, she was a little dejected. She had found a weapon, but had been harassed most of the day by a horde that admittedly she added to herself. She was able to lose them uh, and get back home. But she knows she can't stay there. We'll join Cory in progress uh, as she scavenges right at the end of the day. Um, so far, nothing really interesting to report except that I uh, found another watch after many games of no watches at all. So let's get going. Check everybody. Corey knows they're useless in the apocalypse, but she's always wanted a dragon horde. She's gonna have it. Alright. Neighbor's house looks pretty clear. Doesn't hear anything upstairs. It's a good sign. Man, all of these things are rough without uh, a bag. Got lighter. Got sunflower seeds. We're gonna grab light foods, perishable foods. She knows to be careful upstairs. She doesn't hear anything. Doesn't mean there's nothing there. Disinfectant. Okay. Painkillers and a sheet. Great. We can uh, maybe hole up at the house for another day or two while we figure it all out. here. Still no water bottle. And that was stupid. And nothing doing. Well, either I'm getting unlucky or the new game is brutally hard. Either way, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we still need a bag pretty badly. We'll leave the door open so we know we've been there. And our house is back this way. And I think this was boarded up. Maybe a little further up, okay. So, seven o'clock, Corey decides to give one more house a look before calling it a day. I'm just straggling, and that's okay. <sighs> Nothing doing. Hmm. It is a little demoralizing. She's not gonna lie to herself. Another watch. <laughs> That's funny. I'm probably up to 16 or 17 episodes of Zomboid now. And for two thirds of them, no watch. All 
Okay, we'll have to remember that. If and when we have a better bag. We can take some tools with us. So I think... Lord willing, no alarms. We almost have to take that. Don't know much about Zomboy, but I know you gotta barricade yourself in. Let's see what we can see. Socks and sweaters. Bandages, those are nice and light. We'll take the tweezers. Lots of can openers. Hmm. Kitchen timer. Mugs, scissors. We're gonna need a weapon here pretty quick. Is there a rolling pin? Did I miss that? And we are almost out of carry weight. Not having a hide and luck downstairs. She goes up cautiously. She knows just because she doesn't hear anything doesn't mean it's not there. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, that's going to put us overweight for sure. Just a bit. Alright. So. There we go. Finding a pipe wrench in the bathroom seems reasonable. She wonders if they got the repairs done. Oop. That was an accident. But don't hear anything as a result, so we'll call it a happy accident. Fingerless gloves. She's going to miss the Lonely Island. Still. Nothing up here. Alright. It is... Coming up on 9 o'clock. So I think, because this has an upstairs, we'll stay here. Corey decides to call it a day. Yeah, this will work. This will work nicely. Before she does that, drink. Let's get ourselves cleaned up since we have the chance. While we have the time. And the water for that matter. She knows the water's not going to last. Or the electricity. Any day now. She decides to turn in. It's a little bit early. Do we have a book? I don't think we have a book. Alright, so let's have a little something to eat. Let's grab a book. Being a little restless, she decides 9 o'clock is not going to do it. There's a carpentry book. 
<laughs> just like that. Just the act of picking up the book makes her tired. She never was a reader. She can't say she didn't like to read, just that she didn't read much. We'll read till 1130 or so, midnight. Get as much of that book in as we can. Thirty. Let's say eleven thirty. There we go. Okay. A third of the way in. Very good. Let's get some rest. Corey, after a rough day, wakes at 5.30. She cannot believe it. It's always been a bit of an early riser, but that's early even by her standards. Still, it's a little dark. Maybe she can use that to her advantage. Just like that, she thinks maybe not. So look at all this is crazy. The uh Beta forty one, everybody wears jewelry. That's uh that's an interesting change. Alright. We're gonna come back to the house real quick and uh In fact, we're going to go through that house. We're going to drop off some of our horde. That's us. And we'll get a drink. Those guys can go in. You know what? We'll put them right here on the bookshelf. I know you can sort of arrange things in the game now, but uh, we'll mess with that maybe later. Empty tin can. We can just uh, drop that. Is that everything we had picked up? All right, metal pipe's okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got to put the screwdrivers away. We're going to put as much away as we can in the hopes that we'll take our sunflower seeds and peanuts. Those are nice and light. All right, anything we're not wearing, we should put all this stuff away. We'll keep our disinfectant and our bandages. We'll put carpentry away, we'll put the liner away, painkillers. We're just going to drop it all on the... Keeping our pipe wrench. We're going to go ahead and drink that. Alright, we're down to six. That's great. With that, she decides to make a little noise. Stretch her legs. And... As if to demonstrate that she shouldn't do that. Gonna help immensely, and we can drop one of our other watches. Can I make that a little bigger? Yeah. 
Huh. Lots of lots of watch options. All right, we're gonna wear this on our left arm. There we go. All right. So let's clear out this house and see what. Did we come through here? I don't think we have. Just, just watches everywhere. Hey, orange soda, great. We're gonna grab that. Uh, can we fill? Yeah, we have our empty bottle. Okay, good. All right. Nothing doing. All right. We're going to check upstairs real quick. And then we will call it an episode. Umbrella and magazine. Not what we're looking for. Plank. One of these days, maybe. Baseball bat. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's okay. There were some nails around her somewhere. She wonders if she could spike it. even a plastic bag. She thinks to herself, must not be in America. Okay. And then giggles a bit because she, uh, she used plastic bags a whole bunch too. All right, so we're coming together. I'm going to end the episode here. If you've got any tips or tricks, I'd love to hear them. Um, what are our next bits? We need a bag pretty badly. We've got weapons for days. We've got a pipe wrench. We've got a nightstick. We just picked up a bat. We have a water bottle now. Uh, we need something to carry all this stuff. So that is our next objective. Once we get through that, we're going to head to the bank after we pack up what we can. And as always, thanks for watching.